Okay. The lesson seven, discover Korea. I guess this unit is mostly about perfect um, locations for tourists, like a tourist attractions. All right. Namhe has been known for uh, its beauty. Like um, you can see um, great uh, rice fields there. You know, the rice fields uh, just look like um, staircases, right? And you can also see the beautiful ocean view from the uphill um, on which there are many German style houses and buildings, all right? And there are so many nice restaurants that you should check out someday. Understand? So this is about a careless road trip to Namhae. What is a road trip? Road trip is the trip that you take, all right? Um, in your vehicle. By driving a vehicle on the road, you can get to nice places, nice tourist spots, all right? So number one, sentence number one. Last weekend, Kelly went on a road trip to Namhae. There is a very useful expression, go on a blank trip, which can be translated, 땡땡 여행을 가다. Do you understand? Okay. Have you ever gone on a like a, on an overseas trip? Overseas trip. Overseas. That means 해외. Have you ever gone on a, an overseas trip? No, you haven't. Okay. Have you ever been to Namhae? No, you haven't. Okay. After reading this article, I have this faith 100% that you really want to go there. You want to go check out what's there in Namhae. This is Kelly's diary. Uh, diary. Diary. Not a travel diary. Okay? Like a Kihengmun. Or Yohang Irichi. Understand? October 20th, Saturday. We arrived at Namhae Bridge at noon. The verb arrive is always, almost always followed by in or at. Okay? That is translated in Korean this way. 어디에 도착하다. All right? But what about the difference between in and at? In is the is is combined with a 큰 장소. Like what? Like a city or a country. 나라나 국가. Okay? But about at the preposition at is is actually um, followed by a small place. Okay? Now we have Name Bridge. That's a small place. So, 도착했다. We arrived at Name Bridge at noon. This is a 12 o'clock on a dot. Okay, right in the middle of the day. Right in, in the middle of the day. The, the bridge was beautiful. Have you ever seen this bridge? Namhae Bridge. Have you ever seen it? No. All you have to say, yes. But all you have said is only, no, no, no. I haven't been to Namhae. I haven't seen Namhae Bridge. I haven't taken any overseas tra travel like trip. We took pictures in front of it. What does that mean? Take pictures. What does that mean in Korean? That's right. Do you take only one picture or do you take multiple pictures? Mo Think about your what? You're walking down the down the alley alley like um 
beautiful place. Like a yeah, you're walking down the street in New York. Okay, you're walking to the Brooklyn Bridge, which is the best spot for the, like a travelers in in New York City. Okay, do you take only one picture or do you take more than ten pictures? You should take more than hundred pictures. Okay. Right, ten of them, ten of them must be selfies. Next, can you can you read for me? Then we drove to the German village. The drive to Changso. That means 그 장소로 운전해 가다. Okay, so you drive to the German village, but you drove, we drove to the German village, Dogilmar. The road to the village, Marlo Kanan, Kiran, was very curvy, Kulgogi, crooked. All right, so I got car sick. What is it? Get car sick. 자, 멀미하다. Alright, what about uh, you get um, seasick? What is a seasick? Seasick. 배 멀미하다. How about airsick? 비행기 멀미하다. What kind of, it, it, it totally depends, depends on what kind of transportation at this time you're using. Right? So you have you have a car sick when you travel by car. You have you have seasick when you travel by boat or ship, and you also have or get um, air sick when you travel by airplane. The German village was full of pretty houses. So what does that mean? Be full of. It is be filled with. All right, you got to be careful. Here, of, here, with, different. Would you repeat after me? Be full of. Be full of. Be filled with. Be filled with. Good. So the German village was full of pretty houses. I was there. I, I Did I tell you? I have been there like a couple times, like three or four times, I guess. If my memory serves me well, yeah. The last time I was there was pretty much like three years ago. It was it was our my family's uh, summer vacation. It was high up on the mountain. What is high here? High means Busan. It's not Hyeongyeongsa. High up altogether, nopung gose. All right, ondok bi nopung gose was itta. Not a ida. B 동사는 이다라고 쓸 때는 이형식 동사. 이따로 쓸 때는 일형식 동사. It was high up on the hill. 언덕 높은 곳에 있었다. We could see the sea and many islands. 우리는 바다를 볼수 있고 많은 섬을 볼수 있었다. Hey, can you rephrase it? Could. Were able to. Right? Okay. We were able to see the sea and many islands. The view was fantastic. The view was fantastic. And I felt, so I felt better. Feel is 감각동사, is followed by 형용사. Am I right? Okay, so better is 형용사. 구세 비교구. We felt good or we felt better. Why was that? Because the view was fantastic. All right. And now we are at a, a B and B. I think this is accommodation. Sukso. We are at a B and B. Menji and I are sharing a room. Hey, this is Chinangyong, right? Chinangyong Shijen Kakum. 미래를 나타낸다.
미래 시제를 대신해서 현재 진행을 써. 그러면 이 해석을 어떻게 할 수도 있다는 거니? Minji and I are sharing a room은 민지랑 난 방, 같이 쓸 거야. 같이 쓸 거야. Tomorrow, Neil, we are going to visit Tarangi Village and Sangu Beach. We are going to, well, be going to가 아까 선생님 말했죠. 무슨 미래? Be going to 동사 원형은요. 여러 확정 미래라고 해요. 확정 미래가 뭐냐? 비교적 일어날 가능성이 높은 거야. 그러면 의지 미래가 있어. 의지 미래에 쓰이는 조동사는 뭐지? w i l l 야 그쵸? So we are going to visit Darangi Village in Sangu Beach tomorrow. And October 21st, Sunday. Uh, Mr. Schmidt sounds like a German name. The owner, 동격. 이 사람들이 두 아이가 머물고 있는 B&B라는 곳의 이 주인인 Mr. Schmidt는 prepare, 준비하셨다. Our breakfast, 아침 식사를. It was bread. 이것은 빵과 German sausage. 독일식 소시지 그리고 sour kraut. Sour means sour. 신. Kraut means cabbage. So 신 cabbage. It's like a baked kimchi. It really, I really like the sour kraut. 나는 그 sour kraut가 너무 마음에 들었다. It tasted like a kimchi. 자, 감각동사. Taste, look, sound 같은 감각동사는 어떤 구조니? 원래는 형용사가 와야 되잖아. 근데 명사가 올 수도 있지. 근데 반드시 중간에 뭐 나와야 돼. 전치사 like가 있어야 이게 가능해. 지금 이거 왔죠. It tasted like a kimchi. 이건 김치 맛이 났다. But it was not spicy. 맵지는 않았어. Okay. 여기까지 끊어갑시다.